Um, Tiffany, where do you uh, where do you go here for value? Yeah, so you know, I uh, I've been staying away from from um, the airlines, but I, I do see uh, opportunities for long-term growth in airlines. So one area is um, uh, Delta Airlines. So you know, and, and also um, Marriott. So Marriott is a staple that that I've owned for a while and I continue to love, um, and they're they're doing pretty well. So when you look at, and I know that a lot of people are saying that. Uh, a lot of the revenue that comes from airlines is, is on business is with business travel, and I understand that. But for me, it's a long-term play. So I look at it, look at uh, Delta and Marriott. When you look at some of the recent um, mobility indicators, when you look at um, you know air traffic, restaurant bookings, hotel occupancy, so they've really defied um, defied most um, uh, economists' expectations that they would fall um, as new cases and levels spiked um, towards like the beginning of the year. And so what I'm really thinking is that really bodes well for economic growth. Um, and with some states, you know, really starting to reopen their economies, and you know, this mobility data really shows uh, rise, you know, uh, a rise from these like depressed levels from last year um, and really resulting in what I think is a, a better um, better than expected growth for a company like like Delta and continued growth for for Marriott. We're going to dive uh, more into the airline stocks just ahead. Um, but uh, Steve Weiss, I wanted to go to you in terms of how how you think, you know, some of these value plays are recovery plays that have re-rated because of the of the recovery that is in the offing. Um, and, and so how how do you re-rate something or how do you come to evaluation for something where we've not seen this path before? Megan had mentioned $2 trillion in savings that we had, uh, you know, saved up during this pandemic. That could theoretically be unleashed in, in a much more powerful way because the last time stimulus checks went out, we were in lockdown. This time, things are open. I, I think that's exactly right. I mean, you've got so much pent up demand. People have been sitting in their homes for a year. And even if they want to go out, the places they want to go to spend money, they just couldn't go. So particularly in Northeast, I mean, you had a few days of being able to eat outside, but otherwise, you know, it's been too cold lately. So the consumers are going to get out there. Flying we saw over the weekend, we'll get into that later, has picked up. It's ballooned. But just going out and doing, you know, a trip to the mall, you're just going to see people spending more and more. And the re-rating in stocks has caused me to take a look at, and I always thought it was there, by the way, the Corvos and the Skyworks and the Qualcomms, they're value stocks. They're going to grow whether we have the pandemic or we don't. You pull forward demand. Kevin referenced the digitization of the economy. That's real. That's happening. It's unlike prior cycles. So you get both some cyclicality in terms of the chips, which is picking up market share. So the total addressable market of the chip companies, particularly ones I mentioned, has gone to levels you can't even calculate. So at 15 times earnings, growing more than 50% in the bottom line and 20% in the top line, to me, that's a lot more value than Freeport McMoran, where you've got to really hope the economy just hits levels we've never seen consistently for years to justify the valuation. So on the growth side, you know, I'm with T-Tech, which is bookings are up over 50 percent. They're going to grow earnings also about, well, almost double, actually, because of the client experience referencing what the pent up demand is. They handle the client experience on the Web for most of the companies you've heard of, including Amazon. So I like that. I like Vuzix in terms of the growth side. You know, so and Moderna is the cheapest stock in my portfolio still. Great cancer data last week. And they're just going to cure cancer. They're going to cure you name it with the new technology that they've come out with the vaccine.